it's extremely wet out here. The wood is very wet. I even brought some kindling from my garage, um, broken two by fours and that sort of thing. Started it with gas, gas died off immediately, but I've got a little bit of a flame, so I'm gonna try and stoke it up. As I was walking out to meet Dana at the fire, I was like leaving the back um, deck and it's the minute he threw the match in and it went poof with all the fire, I was like, darn it. I love catching that kind of footage because it's like fun to see it go, psh, especially if I'm like zoomed in. Anyway, so we're having coffee. <laughs> I just woke up Patrick and it feels very nice today, like nice and like brisk. It's a little cold, but not really. And all the snow is gone and it's not at the point where it's icy yet because last night it never really dropped to freezing. It was like below us was like 32 or something last night. So yeah. no ice right now. It's a little slushy in certain spots and I'm sure we'll come across some slick um, spots on the trail, but not much. So we're gonna wait for Patrick to join us at the fire and uh, then we'll jump on the trail. One of Dana's favorite things to do lately is to, one, add kindling to the fire. <laughs> Two, he's been carving a lot of hiking poles lately. So we will be filming a video of his process from so, start to finish. Yeah, the way it started was I found a piece of birch and I whittled it down and carved it, sanded it down, and then turned it into a hiking pole. I put a little compass in the end of it. I'm gonna put a, like a guard on it or something. I always use a hiking pole wherever I go. I don't always need it, I just like to have it. My daughter saw it and she said, well here, make this one into one for me. And that's how <laughs> it all started. So. Yeah, we'll show you guys that one when we go in the house later. It's beautiful. We kind of do it together in the sense that he likes to do the carving and I will carve. I think I, I spent some time carving on one, one stick a couple weeks ago when we were barbecuing. Um, but I like to do like the sanding and the staining and the waterproofing. I like to do like the finishing touches and Dana likes to do all the rough work. Yeah, but I get my Dremel out and I kind of make designs or whatever. Yeah. Sand down the, He's really, been the, knot, practicing. the knot spots and stuff like that. Uh, our daughter's stick. I... We can't talk about it too much. It's a Christmas gift. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Mo, don't listen. Mo, turn it off. Well, don't tell him. We'll just, we'll show and then. Don't tell Mo, okay? Yeah, just don't, no one, just don't tell her. Don't tell Mo. Nobody reach out to Mo and tell her. <laughs> anyway, um, it's really cool. I did a really neat design on it that's going to be special to her, so. Um, and another one that I have going, I'm actually making a secret compartment inside of it. That's for mom, skills. isn't it? Um, I've turned another one into a cane. For dad. Uh, for my father-in-law um, because he can't use a walking stick like this. So it's just kind of, I'm tinkering around with it. It gives me something to do when I'm bored. Like in some ways, we, we have a couple of people we follow here on YouTube. Specifically, AOK -okay comes to mind. Yeah. She sure. does some amazing woodworking. And so does Brenda, on, honestly. They both kind of do it together. But it's incredible the kind of things that they do. He, he like got so inspired. He's like, you know, I love woodworking. I really need to do it more. So... And I build pretty well. I He's good. Carpentry. Like these benches, he cut all of these, these stumps. He cut them from the forest, brought them in. This bench here, he made, he made our wood holder. He made that from a design that I drew. He's made a lot more, but that's kind of what's right here. Biggest thing is even if you aren't good at something, if it makes you happy and it keeps you busy, you should do it anyway. So with winters being the way that they are, having something to do and occupy your time, yeah. Uh, it's really important. I love to have campfires. What a great thing to do, sit around a campfire and kind of carve out a stick or whatever. Especially if you're making like a homemade, handcrafted Christmas gift. Yeah, so there it is. Getting a grand entrance. This is how we found out Patrick is up and around finally. This stick, if you guys watched Craftmas Day 2 when Patrick and I went for our little hike and he went over by the birch tree to show us where Dana got the stick, this is that stick. This is that stick. So that's your special compass stick that you made. This is one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap the top uh, in leather and then kind of reseal around here, but for now that's what I've got. It's beautiful. 
It is pretty. You did a really nice job. <clears throat> and then I did the staining on this one. I think this one I did yeah. in white pine stain. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and we then have a, we have a grayish color that we've been using. That's the white pine. Yeah, and like a cherry color. Yep. Um, and then I shellacked it. Like, uh, shellac. So. Yep. Really cool and pretty easy to do. Yeah, this is the outdoor classroom. Just a bunch of stumps. The better one, I think, is this way. That's the nicer outdoor classroom. It's this nice big open space. It's a nice little hike to start the morning. And uh, I don't know, it wasn't, I mean, it's not very long or anything. We did like two different loops. Probably a mile. It was before any food at all, only a half cup of coffee because my coffee got cold and then like a bunch of ashes got into it and sometimes I honestly don't mind because it makes it smoky and it, I don't know, like I don't mind drinking some ashes from the fire but we're burning paper and other stuff and I don't want that in my body. So I dumped it out so I need more coffee. So we just came back from our hike uh, and we were all excited to have a nice hot cup of coffee when we got back. Eileen came in, she said, I'm gonna put my camera in the house and I'm going to grab us some coffee. Do you want some? And we said, yes, we would love some coffee, thank you. So she went in and came back to the door and said, how is all of the coffee gone? I said, well, I didn't drink any coffee. And she said, oh, well, it's all gone. I said, well, did you remember to push the button? And she made a face and retreated back into the house. So, yeah. So I got us coffee. We're back from the hike, obviously. Patrick's been wanting to figure out if he likes coffee, and if so, what flavors he likes. So I have a tiny coffee for him with peppermint mocha in it. And I put more cream than coffee, so I don't know how you couldn't like it. Okay. It's still hot, though, so be careful. <laughs> don't spit in it. That won't taste good. <laughs> Okay though, right? You have yeah. to get used to it. But like it's not, like you don't want to throw it up. Yeah. You're not going to like whip it at a squirrel. Yeah. Okay, good. That would be bad. Wouldn't be sure. great. And it's starting to snow now. There's no way that this iPhone is going to pick it up because I put my camera inside. But uh, it is snowing. We promise. <laughs> we promise. We promise. Nice. Sing your song again. Wait. I'm not going to look at you. Good. Take a look at my french fry. It's the only one I got. Not much of a french fry. Used to be a tater tot. <laughs> You're so cute. Oh I got God. it! That's like all the snow we have left. It's kind of like last year. We got good amount of snow but stuck for longer or sooner. I guess last than last year, but the fact that it's already melted and we're, we're now getting closer to December, like it's a couple of days left of November, you'd think that our snow would still be here. Okay, so we're gonna leave in about an hour. So we're gonna play Rummy. Yeah. And I'm pretty excited because Patrick actually learned how to play Rummy when we were in the UP. He initially got very confused and it was really funny, but he got really good at the end. He did. I think really he good. Beat we were us, playing in the tent. Uh, once. He did. He beat us one time. Yeah. Patrick has laid some stuff down. He's getting there. He even searched before discarding to make sure that it wasn't a rummy. He's doing awesome. He is. He's he figured it out quicker than last time. He's also less hyper than last time because it was the like quick, well, 11 o'clock at night and it was raining and we were in a tent. Yeah. And he started laughing at no reason for no reason at all. <laughs> it's true. And he's doing it again. It may or may not have been porcupines or something. That's how the first round went. Are you for real? Okay, so we are grabbing lunch in West Branch before we officially start heading south to take Patrick home. We're going to a restaurant that I have not tried but I've been wanting to try called Logger's Depot. It's like a little family restaurant with like, I don't know, traditional bar food I guess, but it's food and spirits. It looks really cool. So we're sitting at the window by the bar. Really cool stamped tin roof. Old school Coca-Cola. Look at this table, too. 
pretty awesome. Hello guys. Hey guys. So we're actually filming this the next day because we were got home so late last night we were exhausted and yeah, we went we ate dinner and went right to bed. We did not have a beer. So we're about to have our craft myth beer for day four. So thank you for staying for the last two minutes of the video. Go ahead and open this mystery beer up. Mystery beer. Yes. Love mystery beers. Is that a It's the wrapping we got last year. Pig wrapping. With the pigs, yeah, it's little like pigs wearing like Santa hats. I love it. It's um mm. Okay, and it is Motorhead Road Crew American IPA, 6.2% ABV. I remember buying this one. Arcadia Brewing. Yeah, so it's Kalamazoo. Yep. Yep, so go ahead and pop the top of that guy. The uh, artwork is really cool. Yeah, it's actually, it's um it's kind of hard to explain. It's like, it's almost like a cross between, you can go ahead and open it while I explain, a cross between a skull, a bowl, and uh -oh. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, it's gonna no. be. We're gonna bubble. Nope. Yeah. We're good. Okay. We but really cool label. I'll bring it close to the camera in a minute once I pour us two glasses of this guy. Ooh. That's gone. That's gone. That's going. 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 It's not as intense as I thought it was gonna be. Um, they are kind of like flutes, but they're very similar to a lot of like stainless beer. wine glasses. It's actually the exact same silhouette we had the sour in on our wild game beer tasting dinner. All right. Um, but it says cheers, and I thought they were festive and cute, and I got them for a good price, so I bought them. I feel like you can never have enough beer glasses. I, I still have that one silhouette I feel I like that's probably not true. You can always <laughs> have not enough space in your cupboards, but you can <laughs> never have enough coffee mugs or beer glasses, I think. Well, if you agree, leave a beer. comment below, because I can't be the only one. Okay, let's get a nose. All it right. took forever for these things to settle. Forever. Piney. Piney. Yeah. Yeast. It kind of smells like a pilsner. Briny, a little bit. A little yeah, salty. A little pil yeah, pilsner sulfuric. salty, sulfuric. Not getting a whole lot of citrus, but a little bit. Orange-ish. Maybe zest. Tinge to the zest. head. That would make sense. Yeah. Let's go ahead. It's pretty good. It's not too bad at all. It's actually very smooth it's for an mellow. Yeah, it's yeah, it's smooth. mellow. It's not like for the way that it smelled. It I thought it was going to be really bite bitter. To it at all. Yeah, I thought it was going to be skunky. No, not at all. It's very good. It's really good. Uh, I actually nice really job. like it. Good job, Arcadia. Yeah. I mean, everything from Kalamazoo is pretty great. You're bad at Greek. Oh. It's the same area. Really? Not the same. It's like saying Detroiters and people from Sterling Heights are the same. They are. According to this side of the state. They are not. But if you All right, to, well, go to Kalamazoo. Two minute review. We're done. We're Dang done. It. it was a good beer though. I like it a lot. Cheers. Good. Cheers. They are the same. Detroiters and Sterling Hiders are the same. No, they're not. Ask anybody. I'm from Detroit. You're asking me right now and I what? said no. You gotta ask any I said no. I said 